your O-ring is tight and uniform, you want to make sure once you lock your post into the jig, you're keeping your bar stock in tension as you wrap around your jig. Tension is what makes your O's nice and uniform. Okay, so we've got a helix that we've wrapped. This is 304 stainless. It's wrapped four times around. Well, now we're going to cut it into O-rings. Okay. So the first thing you got to do is clamp it. And you want to make sure to clamp it so that you're holding on to most of the helix. You can either justify it one side or the other on your post vise, but you'll find one of your tails will overlap just a little bit. And that's okay, you just want to make sure that you have a firm grip on your helix before you start cutting. So we're going to lock it in this position. So this tail is in compression, this ring is in compression, and this back ring right, are all in compression. So you're holding that all firmly so that the vise holds on to all of the rings in one single compression unit. And then, once you've got everything locked in place, We can use a tool called the horizontal bandsaw. This is a Milwaukee portable bandsaw. And there's an adjustment that allows you to take the table. Press this button here. Right here. You can adjust the table in or out. Okay. So that it's not blocking our cut. And you can leave it out just far enough so that you don't gouge your post vise when you're done with your cut. Okay. So now we have enough for clearance, but we can also do our cut. We'll line up our cut like so. Get that in focus. And squeeze the trigger. do the cutting and if you see that your springs are coming out of compression take the time to recompress this little piece here is loose enough to where it's going to get in the way and bind so going to loosen our clamp take our piece see if we can bend that out of the way and clamp just to the other side so that this ring, clears our post vise, jaw, and then reclamp firmly. And then we'll just tap this, so this outer piece of the helix, so that the pinch where the cut line is opens back up to receive 
the horizontal band saw. There we go. And then just make sure it's tight. We're going to pre cut. So now we're through, and when you unclamp your piece, you'll see that all of our rings are free. Okay, Let's go some focus. So at this point, there's an O-ring, but you'll notice because of the way the helix wrapped, it doesn't line up perfectly flat. So the easiest way to address that is with a tool called the twisting bar, which is just a long handle, with another handle welded to it so that your center rotates about the jawline, roughly. Okay. It's just like a vise, but with handles so you can spin around. So I'm gonna clamp this work. We're gonna clamp this work firmly in the vise so that you can see the position one of the helix and the position two of the helix do not line up. And then take the twisting bar and just clamp it on the top radius so you have enough that you can rotate the bar without much resistance. And because the vise is clamping the back of the arc at the halfway point, just like the start of the helix, you will get a nice uniform alignment. And you have to take advantage of deflectional loading, which means you can't just bend it to center. You have to go slightly beyond and it'll spring back to center. Okay, spring back to center. Okay. One more time, too far. You go too far, just come back the other way until you've got good alignment. And then you can see we have a small gap here, and this can just be filled by weld. Okay. All right, so one more time, we're straightening this o ring. We just want to make sure that you have a good view of what's actually happening. So, again, we're clamping at the midpoint between the helix cut and the back of our o-ring. And then at this point, we just need to grab the twisting bar, get a grip on the top of that o-ring, gently apply pressure, go slightly past the bending moment so that when it deflects, it's on center with that over here, just like so. Okay. 